Okay, I'm gonna read a poem. Um, I don't know who it's by, but um, it's from this book. War poems. I got it from my grandma. Um, I'm gonna read my favorite poem. It's called The Battle Hymn of the Republic. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed faith or the fatal lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. I have seen him in the watchfires of a hundred circling camps. <clears throat> they have builded him an altar in the evening dews and damps. I can read his righteous sentence by the dim and flaring lamps. His day is marching on. I have re read the f a fiery gospel writ in banished rows of steel. As ye deal with my contemners, so with you my grace shall deal. Let the hero born of woman curse the serpent with his heel, since God is marching on. He has sounded forth the triumph that shall never call retreat. He's sifting out our heart, the hearts of men before his judgment seat. Oh, be swift, my soul, to answer him. Be jubble, be ju, ju <laughs> sorry, be jub, jubilant, my feet. Our God is marching on. In the beauty of the lilies, Christ was born across the sea with a glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me. As he died to make men holy, let us die to make men free. While God is marching on. That's my favorite poem. Um, there's this, this one. I see the champion sword Stokes flash. I see them fall and hear them clash. I hear the murderous engine engines crash. I see a brother stoop to loss, a foreman's brother's bloody sash. <clears throat> I see the torn and mangled corse, the dead and dying heaped in scores. A headless rider by his horse, the wounded captive, bayoneted through and through, without remorse, I hear the dying suffering suffer cry, with his crushed face turned to the sky, I see him crawl in agony, to the foul pool, and bow his head into its bloody slime, and die. I see the assassin crouch and fire. I see his victim fall, expire. I see the murderer creeping nigh to strip the dead. He turns his head, the face, the sun beholds his sire. I hear the curses and the thanks. I see the mad charge on the flanks, the rant, the rents, the gaps, the broken ranks. Vanished squaredoms diving headlong, uh, driven headlong down the river's bridgeless banks. I see the death grip on the plain, the grappling monsters on the main, tens of thousands that are slain, and all the speechless suffering and agony of heart and brain. I see the dark and bloody spots, the crowded rooms, the crowded cots, the bleaching bones, the battle blots, and writ on many of name a nameless grave, a legend of forget-me-nots. I see the gorded prison den, the deadline and the pent-up pen. And thousands quartered 
in the fen, the living deaths of skin and bone that were the goodly shapes of men. And still the bloody dew must fall, and his great darkness with a pale or a pall of his dread judgment cover all till the dead nation rise transformed by truth and triumph over all. That's a kind of creepy ish. Um, two of my favorite poems. I have to go because I'm going to run out of time in four minutes. <laughs> Almost three. But, um, I'll make another video soon and I'll read more poems and I hope you like them. And to those who wrote them, wrote them thank you. If I had a hat, I would take it off too. <laughs> Alright, bye.